If you haven't yet seen it, Open Nebula now comes with new edge computing features, including a user-friendly catalog and a set of drivers for you to easily set up a multi-cloud environment using infrastructure resources from public cloud and edge providers. Open Nebula's multi-cloud architecture is based on edge clusters that can run any workload, both virtual machines and application containers, on any resource, whether it's bare metal or virtualized, anywhere. So either on-premises, on the cloud, or at the edge. Okay, so in this screencast, I'm, I'm going to show you how to use Open Nebula to create a multi-cloud environment, this time using Google Cloud Resources. First, we're going to use the new Fire Edge provisioning tool to add Google Cloud Platform as a provider. Then we're going to provision remote resources using GCP. Okay. Then I'm going to deploy Open Nebula Edge clusters for LXC on those resources. And then I'll go through and explain the possible use case based on the Alpine Linux virtual appliance that's available in our Open Nebula marketplace. Okay. Google Cloud Platform offers a wide range of VMs depending on your needs. And that's one of the main reasons why we've incorporated it into our catalog. Here you'll be able to see their locations and the main resources you, you'll be able to access through Open Nebula. Right now, Open Nebula Edge clusters for Google Cloud can be deployed on virtual hosts only. All right, so let's take a look now at how to deploy LXC virtual hosts on Google Cloud using Open Nebula that you'll then be able to use to orchestrate thousands of Linux system containers. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with our Open Nebula installation. And here we have a front end that's ready. And we also have Google Cloud Compute Engine that's ready to be used. First, we're gonna add Google Cloud as a provider through our Fire Edge interface. And there we'll be able to specify the location to where we want to launch our Edge cluster. All right, the next thing we will do is provision that Edge cluster on LXC using Google Cloud Platform. So first we're gonna log into the Fire Edge interface using our one admin account. Okay, we log in. And from here, we need to go to the Providers tab Select that and wait a moment until it's ready. Okay, once we're there, now we click the, the orange add button here. Okay, we're going to deploy a virtual cluster and then we need to select the Google Cloud provider. So we go down and select Google Cloud. Good, okay. We have all our, our regions here, and in this case, we're gonna deploy the instances in London. Okay, here we have some general information. Right, we got the name as well as the description. I'll leave these as is. And next, we need to provide the JSON file with the credentials. So we can select this JSON file here Right, we've got the JSON that we downloaded. We click OK. Okay. And now we've got to provide the Google Cloud Platform project ID as well. Okay. Copy and paste it in there. And finish. Okay, now the provider is ready to be used. All right, so now we're ready to provision the resources. We're gonna to go to the provisions tab. And once again, when ready, we're gonna click on the orange add button. Okay, select the provision type. This is gonna be virtual. And we're now gonna select the Google Cloud provider. Here you'll see that we have a Google cluster, which we need to select. And now we've got, you can see we have the provider in London that we just created. Select that, go to the next. 
here you have some general information, some fields you can update, um, like I said, general information. And then we have some additional user inputs that allow the user to customize the provision that's going to be deployed. So you can deploy as many hosts as you want. And you can select the operating system that's going to be installed, the machine type, and at the end, the, the hypervisor that you want to use. Okay. And click Finish here. All right. So at this point, Terraform is creating the resources in the Google Cloud Provider. And then Ansible is going to configure the hosts. Okay, so right now this will take a, a few minutes. So I'm going to pause and jump back when we're ready. All right, so I'm back just after a few minutes and here we can see that the provision has been successfully created. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to log into Sunstone in order to check the resources. So I log into Sunstone using the one admin user. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is check the storage. Okay. And here you'll see that we have two data stores. We have the system data store and the image data store. Okay. Now we're going to go check the networking. Here you'll see we have a public network as well as a, a private network, which is a network template that's ready to be instantiated. Okay, now we're gonna check the clusters. Right here you can see the cluster is there containing all the resources. And lastly, we'll check the host. Right? And we'll see that we, the host is there, it's in an on state, which means it's ready to be used by Open Nebula. All right. Now I want to take us back to the use case slide. Okay, so there, there really are many use cases that can be employed using this Google Cloud Platform. For example, you can download the Alpine Linux virtual appliance, which is available at our public Open Nebula marketplace. Once you import that appliance into your Open Nebula Cloud, you can instantiate thousands of these Alpine Linux containers. Uh, you know, a simple example would be to instantiate them to create uh, unique development environments for your users where they can carry out their specific tasks and activities. And again, since they're LXC containers, you have the flexibility to, to deploy thousands of these in this host using Open Nebula. All right, so hopefully you can find a chance to give it a try. And thank you for watching.